Hello. JD here. Twisted Strains episode number 48, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I had a long day of chores and knitting, and so I'm a little bit beat, you know? But I figured today I can do a podcast. So here we are. I'm up. I've got my water. I'm ready to go. <laughs> so, yeah, just ignore the fact that I've worn my PJs all day, okay? Just shh, just keep it above the, the neck, everybody. Anyway, <laughs> how are you all doing? Are you in a panic because Christmas is coming? I am. Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Yule, whatever you celebrate. Hope it's going nicely for you. I am starting to panic because it's this will be the first full week of December and I still have a good three or four things to make and one of them is color work. Yeah, I'm oh, not too sure. A uh, uh, little bit scared of color work still. I've been knitting since around 2002, 2003 and I still get scared silly. But anyway, let's go on to what's on my needles. I finished, almost finished Corbin. <laughs> Isn't he fucking adorable? I love this little doll. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to do about the space near his horns, though. See? The stuffing's poking through because the connection there isn't so hot. So I figure I'm going to have to darn it or something, but I love how he came out so far. And so there's Corbin, the creative from the Knit Simple issue. I have finished his arms. See now, I'm using an entirely different yarn because I kind of ran out of the Van Ness choice. So this is Red Heart Super Saver. That is in the stash. See, I'm being good. Sort of. Yeah. Any we'll, we'll get to that later. <laughs> anyway, I since this yarn is a little bit stiff at the gauge, I'm knitting with a size 5, which is... 3.75 millimeters, so it's pretty tiny for a worsted weight yarn like Super Saver. So what I've done, a little piece of fuzz flying about, is I've weighted down the arms, and I'll be doing it for the feet too, I just... random beads. I bought this a while ago. And I've been using this to weight down the ends of the limbs, which are the only parts of it that's stuffed. Imagine my dismay this afternoon when I was trying to stuff the second arm and knocked over the entire thing of beads and they went spilling all over my room, down the hall, a couple of made it down to the bottom of the stairs of the house. I was a little pissed. <laughs> eh, disasters like that happen when you mix crafts. Um, so that disaster didn't stop me. I've been working on his leg and it's kind of fun because yeah, you gotta work on it longer stitch area, but it's worked here, just like a little tiny sock. Look at that quality stiff yarn. <laughs> so that's his little foot that I'm working on. I wanted to finish at least one leg before podcasting, but it's 9.30 and I am not going to finish a damn thing before podcasting. So here you go. Little foot. It's really cute. And 
That's the first work in progress, and I finally did reach the heel area of my sugar maple. Not sugar maple. God, that's a different sock. My maple socks. So I've knit enough so that it's going to be... I'm going to turn the heel this week. If I can pull myself away from my Christmas knitting. <laughs> Might not happen. <coughs> Oh. Excuse me. So sorry. I don't need to sneeze in front of you all. Anyway. <laughs> Ugh. I'm going to be sniffing all throughout the rest of the podcast. I'm so sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway. Oh. That, those are my whips. I do not have any finished objects, sadly. Worked very hard on Corbin and the sock, but I did not prevail in finishing anything. Sorry! Um, I do have some new stash enhancement to show you, though. Yay! Now, this... Ooh. Of course stuff falls. Oh! Oh, it wanted to come apart for you. This is Out of Step Dye Rock or that Dye Works. Out of Step. There you go. And this is her color in a fingering weight. It is called Mutilated. And I have been eyeing this yarn since Halloween. Finally, I got a little money and I said, this yarn has got to be mine. So. I bought my mutilated and sometime next year I'll have feet that look like they're bleeding profusely. Yay! Oh, and if you're curious, it is 80% superwash marine and 20% nylon. So it's going to make great strong socks. I haven't figured out a pattern for it yet. And... Happily enough, my dad was kind enough to help feed the fiber addiction for Christmas. I sent him an email saying, Please, can I have this for Christmas and play it life? Which is, which is candy? Which is love candy? 50-50, tinsel and merino. Yay! I have no idea when I'll have time to spin it because I've got so many other spinning projects in mind but oh I love it. It is just so soft and fluffy and it's got those eerie Halloween colors. So here I am going towards the middle of December and I'm squeeing over Halloween fiber and yarn. What else is new? <laughs> Ugh. I do have an are we there yet. Now, this is something I picked for a very good friend of mine. She doesn't watch the podcast, so I feel free just showing it to you. And this is the one that's scaring the hell out of me, but I'm going to cast it on this week. It is called the Rabbit Beanie. And it is stranded and in the round and it's brown and white and I figured I use the palette colors that I've got in my stash already to knit it and it's a paid pattern it's designed by Sarah Jager and she loves rabbits she's loved them for a while and I care very much for her so I'm willing to delve into Scary Scary Fair Isle and teach myself a few things for it. And looking forward to that. I hope to cast it on this week as soon as I'm done with Corbett. Corbin the Annihilator. <laughs> Actually his name is Corbin the um, Creative and he's designed by Rebecca Danger. Um, he's pretty cool though. He's a bit fiddly. The horn bit not easy. I do have 
Uh, ah, here's another one I plan on casting on very, very soon. And this is a bit of a treat for one of the knitting friends of mine in knitting group. She has this ornament party, and naturally I feel like knitting ornaments for that, but this is going to be special for her. I might even try to match the color from something in my stash for her, because she's just a teal-loving woman. So that's definitely going to go on to the needle soon. Uh, another Are We There Yet? Ooh, American is American Girl Dress. I do not know if I have a picture of it, though. Oh, not really. It only shows the back. But it's a really cute long sleeve dress for an American Girl doll I heard my little cousin girl got an American Girl doll, so I figured I'd start making clothes for her. Um, that's it for Are We There Yet? Do you think I have enough on the needles yet? Probably already have too many. But who cares? It's what I do with my spare time when I'm not cleaning the house. Anyway. <laughs> uh, on to stuff and junk. Let's get on to stuff and junk. I don't know if I told you this story yet. When, when I visited Joy, who is awesome, she has an awesome little eight-year-old boy who is so cute and sweet. Um... So I'm camping around with my cane most of the time, and at one point he was just sitting at the table minding his own business, and I walk by on the cane, because I'm having a particularly bad moment with my knee, and um, <laughs> he looks at me, and he says, Are you old? <laughs> So I bust out laughing and I said, Yes, I am! <laughs> Joy, who whole, heard the whole exchange, was mortified. But she couldn't stop laughing either. I just thought it was too damn funny. Yes, Kellen, I love you. Hey, little baby. Oh, let's see what else happened. Oh, yes, the house cleaning comment. Hi, Bindish. She wrote me a very sweet little message on Ravelry. She said, you know, um, I love your podcast and I think you're f so funny and sweet, but um, would you mind cleaning it up a little? <laughs> yes, I told you I'd put you on the spot. Um, I managed to improve this area, made the bed and all. And I did laundry and stuff, but this corner of the room is always a clusterfuck, so all apologies. I'll clean my room for next week. <laughs> Sorry to put you on the spot like that, darling. <laughs> um, oh, what else is new? Um, not much. Not much is new. Just trying to get by. Today was a li no. Today was not a lazy day, but yesterday sure was. I went to the mall in New Jersey, which is perhaps a little insane, but hey, I went to the mall once. I did my thing, and it, it was crazy and crowded and a little bit fun. So I figure I did my duty, went to the mall once, and the rest shall be online shopping. No doubt about it. <laughs> um, let's see what else. Uh, that's about it for stuff and junk, but let's get to the fun thing, huh? You want to know if you want a pattern from me this week? Let's go to the random.org number generator. We had... 25 posts minus mine, so going to do one, two, three, 
Well, winner is number 20. Let's go over and see who that was. Number 20. Ah! Miss Emmon Girl. Yay! You won, Miss Emmon Girl. Send me a message and let me know what pattern you would like for 25 not 25 bucks or less, for five bucks or less that I can gift you on Ravelry. Congratulations, Miss M and Girl. And just a second, I'm going to pull out the next prize. Don't look at the background. <laughs> next prize. Let me get the camera up again so I can see what I'm looking at to make sure I'm looking at you is two skeins of pink Tweety yarn. Ta-da! I'm finally giving away yarn. And this type is Queensland Collection Rustic Tweed and wow, 278 yards per skein. And it's a worsted weight. And there's two of them. So, over 500? Yeah, I think. Yep, over 500 yards of yarn. You can probably make a gorgeous scarf or something with this stuff. But anyway, two skeins of pretty pink yarn from me. It's in very good shape ever since I wanted it. It's kind of been in this ginormous Ziploc bag. So anyway, I will create a thread and put it on the group and you can enter. And let's see, what should I make the topic? Ooh, that's it. The topic of the drawing thread will be when did you decide to learn to knit or crochet? That's it. Nothing holiday related. <laughs> so anyway, um, congratulations, Miss Emmon Girl. Contact me and be sure to enter in this coming prize drawing for the yarn. And if you really hate pink or don't know what to do with it, I'll probably switch it for another pattern or something like that. So get in touch. So anyway. That's it for now. Uh, I've been blathering for how long? At least 15 minutes. Anyway, I'm sure you've had enough. But, um, yeah. Here's my contact information in case you want to get in touch. I'm JD on Ravelry, and that's J A D E E. And my email is JD Alt. That's A L T after my name at gmail.com. Our board is in rivalry.com, and that's the Twisted Strange podcast. I have over 300 members. Yay! So please feel free to join me there. Uh, I'd love to see more members. And let me see what else is there. Oh, Plurk. I love using Plurk. Uh, it's too too much fun. There's a lot of knitters and dyers and spinners and amazing crafts people on there and I'm there every day. And my name there is JD six six six. Although it shows up as JD underscore elf right now for the holidays. And then on Facebook you can friend me as JD last name of Huff. And I am on Pinterest. I Pinterest as uh, JD six six six. So feel free to look me up there. I do not do much there because it is horribly addicting. But I do do the occasional pin, or I look through other people's pins to see it. So that's it for today and you can find this show and all the others 
on the blog at Twisted Strands with an extra S dot blogspot dot com. So anyway, happy Chris blah happy blah 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 happy crafting <laughs> and I will see you in a week. Take care everybody.